that Nate Sudfeld and the Hoosiers have had the ball. Trying the left side, not much doing there at all for Tevin Coleman. So with Wilson out for the first half, they're going to start a redshirt freshman in Michael Shear, number 30, as their middle linebacker. That could be a factor. And off Coleman, barrels forward out to the nine-yard line. That's what you want to get away from the shadow of your own goalpost. One-yard line, you just want to make sure you give yourself a little bit of breathing room. Again, they feature Coleman, and he's dragged down by the ankle by Matt Hoke. Been averaging over eight yards a carry, and they run a lot of the zone read, not necessarily where they're going to have Nate Sudfeld. Sudfeld in trouble, tries to get it to Coleman, and he does get it there. Makes something out of nothing. That top of Jason Spriggs, left of your screen, the, oh. the left tackle. Just gets completely beat with his hands right off the jump, lunging a little bit. Credit to Shane again and see if he can create a spark. Tight end Bolzer in motion. Give goes to Coleman, trying to get to the edge. Coleman, a guy averaging over eight yards a carry for the first three weeks of the season. Sudfeld, that's the design to the tailback. Coleman out of the backfield, and Coleman has a first down in Ned Sum. Barrels out across the 40 to the 43-yard line. The place that he needed to go with the football because as Coleman came out of the backfield, his coverage, the linebacker, got caught in the mix, and that was number 30, Michael. Coleman has it. Makes the first wave of defenders miss. Gets out to the 38-yard line. To Nate Sudfeld in the backfield. Sudfeld 12 for 23. There's a drop by Coleman haven't really seen over the past couple of weeks is really a pretty good throw by Sudfeld but Tevin Coleman a pretty good job throughout the entire season of just playing pitch and catch but we've seen a couple of uh, uncharacteristic drops today. Coleman another chance this time on the left side and not only with the catch but he has enough for a first down. This again is a low. 76 yards on that gainer down to the two yard line. Coleman trying to punch it in and he does. Touchdown in the end. As far as Sudfeld throwing the football to a number of different receivers, let's first take a look and see if maybe Coleman's knee might have been down before he crossed the goal line. 75-yard drive for Missouri. And Indiana's going to try and answer with a quick strike here with under four minutes to play in our first half. And they're trying to get downfield to make a block. So the loss of five makes it first and 15. Quickly around the end, this is Coleman. And Coleman has been so special so far, and this is sophomore season. Again, Coleman, this time he is swept away, stays in bounds, and the tackle is made by backup end. To be moved around quite a bit, and a lot of guys were being forced into playing time that maybe they didn't think they were going to have. Coleman tackled immediately by EJ Gaines. Gaines has been a real force in that run game. Line of scrimmage, that's a loss of four. Now, EJ Gaines has seen a lot of different plays. A senior, he's played a lot of football. He's Trey New Roberson. quarterback in Roberson, number five, his first action of the day. And he hands off right up the gut to Coleman. They have given up over 100 yards, but the passing game is what's been hurting him. James Franklin really picking apart the Indiana defense. Coleman stretches it out close. Feel comfortable with a number of guys, so they want to make sure that they get him on the field and see if they can't help engineer a drive for the offense. See if Roberson calls his own number. No, well, he hands it off, and it's going to be a first down for Coleman, wrapped up by Andrew Wilson. Wilson makes the tackle. He's gained points. Play clock is down to two. And the Hoosiers just do get it off. Kevin Coleman out to the 30. Andrew Wilson, another tackle. Will shot at halftime with Rick Pizzo. He's really not that frustrated with his oh, ball's loose on the ground. Hoosiers get it back. Coleman had the ball knocked away. It's fortunate to get his own fumble. David Kaminsky also in that mix recovery.